is the uh, town of uh, Rogoznice. This is the road to the former Nazi concentration camp in Gross Rosen. Uh, Gross Rosen was situated, was originally a sub camp of Sachsenhausen and it became a camp within its own right, as for example did uh, Stutthof in uh, 1941. And, uh, right, so, um, I'm going there to the left here. So it was situated on the railway line between Stregholm and Yavor. Uh, on the uh, quarry, which in fact belonged to the SS Earth and Stone Company. And um, so it was uniquely administered by the SS. The Gross Rosen itself had a huge amount of satellite camps which started up in the um, largely, most of them were in, in, in from about 1944. But uh, above all, so a uh, very large area. The best known one, in fact, is of course the one belonging to uh, Oscar Schindler, because it was in the film Schindler's List. Uh, but there are there is plenty, plenty, plenty others. For example, I've just come from a place called uh, Cheplitsa, which is called uh, Bad Barnbrunn. There, there was a uh, camp which was uh, put in a paper factory. Um, that camp made parts for weaponry and uh, a few paper machine parts. Um, so, uh, but the, the, lots of armaments which were placed in the areas, the mountain areas to the south. Boys still there on the right. Here's the ring. Uh, it's the of the 20th of July. Uh, the anniversary of the attempt on Hitler on his life. Uh, 2011. So it was 67 years from today. The weather on that day was much better than it is today. the camp. Well, the car park is paid, but there's a... Uh, I want to see the entrance to the camp from here. Um, I'm not terribly certain. Well... I do. I'm to get soaked. Well, it looks as though I'm going to. 